hardly stay on my feet. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? <clears throat> you think you can just make up stuff? <clears throat> play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? <clears throat> I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Something important to tell you. It goes like this. 
For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Maybe just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here.
Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Alan, before he missed the shot. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main. I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. I, you can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. See, you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. Damn. That's my yep. favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make Let's sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry. We're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. <laughs>